Kuse Kalala Yahawa Bashem Yahushar Bashem Raka Kwadash. On this topic today, which is the party of the Yorubas and the Igbos at war against the Fulanese, one of the enemies of the Israelites. And we know the Yorubas, they are from the tribe of Judah and he was from the tribe of God, Parti. Okay? This we see, okay, yeah, we know that there's a um, Biafran flag and uh, Odudua flag. As I said before, Yoruba, the tribe of Judah, and uh, Igbo, the tribe of God. Because in this present situation that is happening on the face of Nigeria, Nigeria and West Africa is the target of what is about to happen on the face of the earth. Okay? So, kingdom of God, that's the say kingdom of God, is, uh, is coming to be established on the face of the earth. Under the rulership of the black man, who they call Jesus. His real name is Yahweh Shah. We know when he resurrected, his disciples asked him, when will you restore the kingdom back to Israel? Hmm. That means, which kingdom was he restored back to Israel? Because the rulership of this earth is only given to the hand of the children of Israel, who are the black people of West Coast of Africa. And Yoruba is from the tribe of Judah, the head tribe of the 12 tribes. Okay? Revelation chapter 21, verse 1. And I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth were passed away, and there was no more sea. And I, John, saw, and I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from God, out of heaven, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a great voice out of heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people, and God himself shall be with them and be their God. So when is this going to happen? Is there in the Bible, but this is what is about to happen on the face of the earth. Okay, yeah. And what is that kingdom? Which people are going to be in that kingdom to be the rulership of that kingdom? Daniel chapter 7 verse 27 tells us, And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High. Who are the saints of the Most High? Most High the children of Israel. According, according to Psalm 148 verse 14. Okay? Whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominions shall serve and obey him. Obey who? Christ, the black Messiah. Okay? He's coming to rule with his people. This is why we see in this latter day, this is very important, a big significant for what is happening on the face of the earth. Like I said before, in Nigeria and West Coast of Africa, the warriors of the last days before the coming of Yahawasha, which the Yoruba called Onumila, okay, and which the Igbo called uh, Amadiora, I believe, Amadiora, you know, because God of Thunder Onumila. When we get the understanding of Onumila, we go to the book of Exodus chapter 19 and Exodus chapter 20. We get the full understanding why they call him Onumila, okay? Yoruba, the tribe of Judah. Yoruba is the head tribe of the children of Israel. Igbo is the tribe of God, and but they are warriors. But the Igbo cannot do anything until when Judah rise first. Because this is why it says in the, in, in this way, Scripture says, Judah must rise first. Okay? And this is what is happening today. Because we, we understand about two, one and a half years ago, if I'm not mistaken, when the Amotekun rise, okay, most people were happy. Even the Igbos, the Biafran, they were so happy that, okay, yeah, the Yorubas, they have the Amotekun. Then fear came on, uh, on, on the Fulanese, right? 
And even the Western world, they are afraid because they know once Judah rise, that is the end of this kingdom. Okay? But the problem is our people doesn't really know what is going on because they don't understand the, the prophecy in the Bible to this level. Okay? But most I wish teachers give us understanding. Yoruba, tribe of Judah, and the head of the 12 tribes of, of the children of Israel. Okay, let's see some attributes that is tied to the uh, tribe of Judah. Genesis chapter 49, verse 8. Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Okay, now our enemy now in Nigeria now is the Fulani. Although the Fulani, they are the Asian Assyrian. They are working for the so-called white people, okay? They are working for the United Kingdom, for the Queen of England, for America and France, okay? This is why they've never made, said anything concerning to what is happening in Nigeria now because they are the ones who are pulling the string, okay? Judah, uh, Judah, thou art the, uh, Judah, thou art he whom thy brethren shall praise. Thy hand shall be in the neck of thy enemies. Thy father's children shall bow down before thee. Judah is a lion's well. From the prey, my son, thou art gone up. He stooped down, he crouched as a lion, and as an old lion, we shall rouse him up. Now, who, can, who will rouse Judah up? Who will rouse the Yorubas up? Okay? Prophecy is playing before our eyes, but people does not know. The full army now they are rousing, they are rousing the Judah help, Yoruba. Okay, this is why the most time they, they, they raise up somebody like Sunday go the voice of the people of the Yoruba. Okay, so let's go to Jeremiah chapter ten verse twenty two. Behold, the noise of the brutes come and a great commotion out of the north country. So when we say north, sometimes it's not always uh, when we say okay, it's north, south, east, and west. But not sometimes represent a power or authority. Okay? So, behold, the noise of the brute is come and a great commotion out of the north country to make the city of Judah desolate and a den of dragons. What is it the Fulanis want to do in the, especially in Yoruba land? Okay? They want to make Yoruba land desolate. Okay? They want to take over the Yoruba land because they, they know that the Yorubas are from the tribe of Judah. But the Yorubas don't know that they are the real Judah. Okay? Who they call Christ, Yahweh, is from the tribe of Judah. He's a black man as well. Okay? So, but Mosa is letting this prophecy play out. This last day prophecy. Okay? This is why the Fulani now, they have all the power of Nigeria. Okay? Being backed up by the British, the America, and France. Okay? So, but most time is going to disappoint those enemies of children of Israel because this is last day. What we are saying, this is prophecy, okay? It's bound to happen before the coming of our Savior Christ, Yahweh Shai, the Black Messiah. Zechariah chapter 12, verse 2. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about. Jerusalem, you know, is a people before it is a place. Because when we go to Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 5, it explained to us, okay? So, wherever the gathering of the children of Israel are, is called Jerusalem. You get that understanding from the book of Ezekiel chapter 5, verse 5. Is a Peter, I didn't put it up. Behold, I will make Jerusalem a cup of trembling upon all the people round about, when they shall be in the siege, both against Judah and against Jerusalem. What is happening now? Okay? They want to surround the, the Yoruba land up. With their full and heads men. This is war, it's already war. Okay? And in that day will I make Jerusalem a bodysome stone for all people. Okay? In that day, which is the day we are living now, because Mosta is going to make the Yoruba land a bodysome stone for all people. All the body themselves with each shall be cut in pieces. Mosa is going to destroy all those full and British, American, and anyone that comes over. Okay? This is prophecy. Okay? Though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. Because, as I said, because when you go to the book of uh, Psalm 83, you know, we see all the nations that came together. Okay? 
a conspiracy against the children of Israel. There's a conspiracy. Okay? In that day, said the Lord, I will smite every horse with astonishment and his rider with madness, and I will open my eyes upon the house of Judah. Don't forget, the house of Judah is, the, uh, is what they call the Yoruba today. And we smite every horse of the people with blindness. So all these nations, they will still bring their military down to west coast of Africa. As at now, okay, there is Islamic soldier of West African people. Okay? Islamic soldier of West African people. Why that? They just want to use, uh, 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 like say, it's a relig uh, religion war, a religious war. That is a lie. This is what they call bloodline war. Okay, the nation of Israel is coming back to rulership. Okay? And who are the Israelites? They are the people in West Coast of Africa. The Fulanis are not our people. Okay? This is why the Americans are using them as mechanism with the Britain and uh, France and the Arabs. Okay? Because they know that now is the time for the black people to rise and take the kingdom. And none of you can stop it, Mr. Whiteman. Queen of England, you can't stop it. Okay? Verse 7. The Lord also shall save the tent of Judah first, that the glory of the house of David, okay, and the glory of the inhabitants of Jerusalem do not magnify them, themselves against Judah. As we read before, because Judah, the tribe of Judah, is the earth tribe. And God said, in that day shall the Lord defend the inhabitants of Jerusalem. What is about to happen? Because it's going to Jacob's trouble. Jacob's trouble has already started. Jacob's name was changed to Israel. So we are the children of Jacob. We are the Israelites. Jacob's trouble is part, is, has already started. It's part of what is happening in Nigeria and it's part of this coronavirus pandemic and about the COVID-19 um, vaccination that they said the black people and the Bangladesh are the first people they want. They, they would give the vaccine first or BIM, so-called. Because all this is an agenda, is a game, is a script. They are bringing, in, in bringing it out. But our people, they can see it. This is what Christ said. They have eyes, but they cannot see. They have ears, they cannot hear. Okay? Prophecy is uh, fulfilling in the face of our people that they believe in what their pastor is saying, that it's going to get better. It's going to get better for those you, black man, black woman, the children of Israel, who are keeping the commandment. All of you that are not keeping the commandment of the Most High God, the way it's going to go down with the other nation, that's the way it's going to go down with you. It's only by the, all the nations that come against Jerusalem. Every nation is coming against the children of Israel in this last day. Ego, then, then let's see. The ego, why the, the, the people of the ego, they are so uh, significant, very important in this last day war. Okay? Because we know the ego, they've already started the Biafra a long time. We know during the time of Ojuku, okay, that is not the right time, okay, but most time is waiting for the right time that is going to say, okay, yeah, when Judah rise, then this is when they, they, they will take the kingdom, okay? So, ego tribe of, ego, the tribe of God, they are naturally born warrior. Genesis 46, verse 16, and the sons of God, Zephion, and Haggai, Shunim, and Ezron, Iri, and Arodi, Arodi, and Areli. Those are the children of, uh, of, of God. And we know that some Igbo, they know that they, most of them, they are from the tribe, or they know Eri is one of their uh, ancestors, okay? Genesis 49, 19. God, a troop shall overcome him, but he shall overcome at last. Okay, most time a troop soldiers they always overcome who they overcome uh, the tribe of God. Although we still have some tribe of God in you know, scattered in other parts of the world. Also, we have them in in uh, America, North America, also. So, but we are talking about those that uh, came to West Coast of Africa for in there. And of God, it said, "Blessed be he that enlarged God; he dwelleth as a lion." He chariot the ham with the crown of the head. Okay? And he provided the first part of himself because there in a portion of the lawgiver was he seated. Okay? Most of the tribe of God also will sit in the position of 
lawgiver, you know, who, 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 who give the law, just like uh, Judah and the tribe of Dan also, you know, was he seated and he came with heads of the people. He executed the justice of the Lord and his judgment with Israel. You see, that are the future uh, position of the, for the, of the tribe of God in the kingdom. Okay. First Chronicle chapter 5, verse 18, the sons of Reuben and the Gadites and half the tribe of Manasseh of valiant men, men able to bear buckler and sword and to shoot with bow and skillful in war. The Hebrew people are so skillful in war. We are 440,703 score that went out to the war. Okay. First Corinthians 12, 8. Let's see the nature of the Hebrews also to know that they are real warriors. Okay. And of the Gadites, they are separated themselves unto David. Okay, you see, the Gadites, the Hebrews, because they are from the, uh, the Hebrews are from the tribe of God, they, they, they bring their loyalties to, to, to David. David is from the tribe of Judah. What is happening now? Since when uh, uh, Amotekun rise, rise, rise up before the government uh, tried to buy it over, the, the Hebo, they were so happy. In Amdekanu was so happy. Now, now when uh, Sunday Igbo, uh, Mosai raised him up, see the way the Hebrews they were so happy. They play, uh, they play, play the, uh, the uh, allegiance of loyalty or what? Today, uh, to, uh, uh, to, uh, to say, okay, yeah, we support uh, Igbo. Although it's not the only fight of Igbo, it's a fight of all the Yorubas, okay? It's a battle of the Yorubas against all these uh, uncircumcised Fulanis, okay? And of the Gadites, they separated themselves unto David, into the hold, to the wilderness. Men of mighty, might and men of war, fit for the battle, that could handle shield and buckler, whose faces were like the faces of lions, and were as swift as the rose upon the mountain. Ezra, Eze, the first, the first, the Obadiah, the second, Eliab, the third, Masmane, the fourth, Jeremiah, the fifth, Atai, Atai, the sixth, El Elia, the seventh, Johanna, the eighth, El Elizabeth, the ninth, Jeremiah, the tenth, Machbanai, the eleventh. These were this, well, these, these were of the sons of God. They were captains of the host. One of the least was over an hundred, and the greatest over a thousand. They were captains. You know, they were real men of war. This is what we are seeing in, 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 in the east part of Nigeria today. They are ready for war. Okay? And thank the most side that the Yorubas also, they are waking up. Because if the Yoruba didn't wake up, uh, Yubo cannot do anything. That is prophecy. Because this is why I said both of them, they don't know the battle they are fighting. Okay, this battle is to, to, uh, to establish the nation of Israel. Because this battle is going to lead to what? It's going to lead to race war. It's going to lead to uh, civil war. From civil war, it's going to lead to third world war. From that, Christ will come, the black Messiah. Now, and it's going to restore the kingdom back to Israel. We, we're taking the kingdom back. And now is the time. There's no other time. Because when we see all the prophecies that have been going on around the world, now we can see that, okay, it's time that Christ is about to come. But before he comes, there's a lot of things that's going to happen on the face of the earth. There's going to be wars upon wars. They will say rumors of war, but now it's going to be a war. It's going to be a civil war, a race war, and then it's going to be a world war. And before the world war, there's going to be an earthquake. Acts chapter 1 verse 6. When they therefore come, we have come together the acts of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Who was asking Christ this? His disciples, when he resurrected, they said, will you restore the kingdom back to Israel? Because they know the rulership of this earth is only given to the children of Israel. Though we fell because we are not keeping the commandment. But God said, okay, yeah, those who repent in the last days and keep the commandment, as an Israelite, most I said it will bring us back to the kingdom. And our people who refuse to keep the commandment, they will be destroyed with the other nation. Verse 7, and he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the season which the Father had put in his own power. But he shall receive power after the Holy Ghost is come upon you. 
What is that power that when the Holy Ghost comes upon you? The Holy, the Holy Ghost is when you are keeping the commandment. Okay? Because very soon, you're going to have a supernatural power. Okay? This is why now they are trying to force the uh, vaccine, you know, onto all people in the world because the main target are the children of Israel. Okay? They want to corrupt, corrupt the DNA of the children of Israel. It might sound like a conspiracy theorist, huh? but if you believe in the word of the Most High, everything is written in the scripture. Okay? And you shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in Judea and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Okay? Unto the uttermost part of the earth. Okay? Yeah, because everybody knows the Hebrew Israelite today. Every nation knows about the Hebrew Israelite. This is why everything like this is happening. Because God Almighty never gave us religion. Religions, all of, every religion was created by man. God Almighty only gave the law, statutes, and commandment to the children of Israel. This is why he said in verse 8, but ye shall receive the power after the Holy Ghost. When we come back to keep, keeping the law, statutes, and commandment, yeah, then this is when power will come upon us. Okay? Matthew 24, 6. And ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, see that ye be not troubled. For all, this thi all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. Verse 7, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. You know, I spoke about earthquakes. Okay? When the earthquakes quake, <laughs> all these are the beginning of sorrows. Yeah. Okay? But all praises to the most high Yahweh Hashem Yashar. That's the clue there in verse 7. Then shall they deliver you to be afflicted and sh shall kill you. And ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Because those of you keep, of our people keeping the commandment of the Most High God, you know, the nation will hate them. Because this is why they say in the Christian, Christian churches, they say the law is done away with. You know, and when God said my law uh, 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 it lasts forever, you know, is it Baruch 4 1, I believe, okay? And keep my uh, um, the law as an apple of your eyes. Keep my commandment and live. That's it. Uh, Proverbs chapter seven two. Okay. Then shall they deliver you up to be afflicted and shall kill you, and ye shall be hated of all nations for my name's sake. Because you to, to keep the commandment of the Most High God is still the name of God. Okay. That is the seal. Okay. They will hate all the children of Israel that are keeping the commandment, like keeping the Sabbath. Not eating all this abominable food, like eating um, pork, shrimps, chicken, egg, lobsters, uh, snail, crab, all those abominable food. And not going to all those Christian churches or mosque or what, or to synagogue. Because we, our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. We have to keep it holy. If we are the temple of God, what do we have to go and do in the temple of man? Okay. So when we set ourselves apart, this is when we say we are holy. Okay? Don't let me digress. Matthew 11 verse 12. And from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence. And the violent take it by force. Okay? It's not by prayer. Because the kingdom of heaven is for what? For the children of Israel. Revelation chapter 21 verse 12. Daniel chapter 7, 27, I posted before, is the kingdom of Israel. But if the kingdom of Israel is for the children of uh, 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 the so-called black, uh, black man, black woman of West Coast uh, uh, of Africa and, and diaspora, but we are the poorest suffering on the face of the earth. How is it that the kingdom of God was taken from us? Okay? And, the, uh, it said, and from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffered violence and violence take it by force. Because during the time of John the Baptist, the Romans, the so-called white people, are the people ruling. That's it. Are they not still ruling today? So now we are taking it by force. Because their rulership of the white men has come to an end on the 21st of 12, 2020 in the spiritual realm. So is the pack-up process is the coronavirus. Okay? So, the warrior of the last day before the coming of Yahweh Shai or Rumi, and uh, Yahweh Shai whoop, Yoruba called or Rumila and Yubo called Amadiora. Okay? The Yoruba tribe, they are playing a very important role and Hebrew also because with this, all the other 12 tribes will rise. 
With that, we say, Kalala Yahawah Bashem Yashai, Bashem Raka Kwadash. We give glory, honor, and power to the Most High who make this possible. So we ask you to go through. If you have any question, just uh, leave a note, you know, because it's high time we have to wake up and keep the commandment of the Most High, our God.